Muslim bathroom etiquette. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, When any one of you urinates, he should not hold his penis in his right hand or clean it with his right hand, and when drinking, he should not breathe into the vessel. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, When any one of you sits down to answer the call of nature, he should not face the Qibla or turn his back towards it. The Sunnah is to answer the call of nature sitting, making oneself close to the ground, because this is more concealing and makes it less likely that spray from one's urine will come back on one's body or clothes, making them dirty. When the Prophet, peace be upon him, wanted to answer the call of nature, he would not lift his garment until he had squatted close to the ground. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, When any one of you urinates, he should not hold his private part in his right hand or clean it with his right hand, and when drinking, he should not breathe into the vessel. He should not use bones or dung to clean himself or wipe away the impurity. Rather, he should use tissue, stones, and the like. What is wrong with bones and dung? He said, They are the food of the jinn. Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, forbade anyone to urinate into stagnant water. A person should not urinate by the roadside or in places where people seek shade, because this is offensive to them. One should not greet a person who is answering the call of nature, or return a greeting whilst one is answering the call of nature out of respect to Allah by not mentioning his name in a dirty place. Our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us that when entering the toilet we should say, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al khubuthi wal khabaith. O Allah, I seek refuge with you from male and female devils. When leaving the toilet, he should say, Ghufranaka, I seek your forgiveness. Prophet, peace be upon him, warned against being careless in cleaning oneself after urinating. Most of the punishment of the grave will be because of the urine. Prophet, peace be upon him, say, When any one of you cleans himself with stones or similar material, let him use an odd number. Any impurity should be washed or wiped three times or an odd number of times, greater than three, according to what is needed to cleanse it. He should not remove the najaza or impurity with his right hand. The left hand should be used for this purpose.